Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Kaisup's here with Sithis. And in the last video, we fucked everything up. Um, so now we have a 2,000 gold bounty in the pale. Uh, we killed our horse, and we ended up in Morthal, which was not my intention. Um, so now we have to work our way back to civilization. Let's, uh, let's go grab a room and get some sleep. I think I get this one, right? The big bed? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll sleep for like five hours. Um, we're gonna have to work our way back to Markarth. We got a bunch of iron uh, ingots on us, kind of weighing us down. There we go. That's good news. Uh, oh, we're hungry. We got lots of food, though. Yeah, so we did quite a number on ourselves. So it's gonna take us. Uh, I'm gonna come for you, Lurbuck. Yeah, they just went horrifically. Um, I'm st I still haven't figured out what we're gonna do about bounties, guys. I'm gonna. I hope someone will post a comment if they have any opinions on how I should handle my bounties. Um, we're gonna run over here and grab a a cool staff, and then we're gonna head back to Solitude in order to get us back to Markarth because we don't have a horse, so we gotta run. So there might be a frostbite spider here. There was one earlier, and I don't really care to fight it, but we'll see. We're going to try to get into a little bit of... Oh. oh. We're actually here to kill that skeleton. Did he see me, or what is he doing? He's chasing an animal boy? Okay, whatever. We're actually not here to kill that skeleton. We're here to grab this. Staff of Revenants. So, the Staff of Revenants, guys. Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. Might come in useful for us. We're gonna try to... We're gonna consider it. Alright, so that's... That skeleton's normally guard, guarding that little unmarked Nord, Nordic Barrow. Okay, here it is. So there's something behind me too. Yeah, there's the frostbite spider. I knew there was a fucking frostbite spider. Oh, it's only a little guy. He is easy. There we go. See, it's already we're already freezing. Uh, I think there's an iron ore vein somewhere around here. Um, we got a little bit of carry weight left, so I'm gonna creep around and try to try to find it. Scared the birds away. That stone? I thought, there was, I thought there was one right on this ridge somewhere. Let's just see if we can find it. If we can't find it, no big deal. We're just going to keep running off to Solitude. And, uh, yeah, once we're back in Markarth, we've got a little bit more of a plan of how we're going to proceed. Okay. What's on my radar? Oh my god. Where'd all those other spiders come from? I know I killed one of them. Okay, well we're going this way anyways for our our quest, so. Quest back to our trek back to solitude. So let's just run from the spiders. I'm not fighting three frostbite spiders. I would definitely consider fighting one. Heavily consider fighting one. But three sounds like no deal. Oh fuck, I thought that was a nice wolf. We're just in we're in a bad way, guys. We're cold, we're you know, I'm sore, sick, tired, under the weather. Overtrained, under-motivated. I have frostbite spiders up my ass. This is brutal. I can't go back to Dawnstar ever until I figure out how I'm going to handle having a big bounty. A bounty hunter might come after me. <sighs> so for people that don't know, a bounty hunter is... Um, if you ever have a bounty of more than a thousand, I believe, in any hold... So, like, an assassination bounty. Um, the game can randomly send out this guy who's called a bounty hunter to talk to you, quote, quote. Um, and the bounty hunter will, uh, he'll come up to you and ask to collect the bounty, and if you don't pay him, he will try to kill you. And he is tougher than I am. That place I thought about taking, it's Fort Snowhawk. It's full of, uh, mages. Let's see. Conjurers. We're not, we're not messing with that, though. We're going to Solitude. There we go. 
capital of Skyrim. I'm sure you already knew that. Watch out for the crabs. I think that's a crabber shack or something over there. I'm not worrying too much about that. Oh, what do we got here? Spider? Okay. Spider I can handle. Horse I can't. Horses are just way too fucking scary. Is that a horse? I don't know, man. Just keep running. Yeah, this is fucked up, guys. Ah. It's a little spider. I can handle a little spider. Look at that. Got my Christmas hat on. Stabbing spiders. Jingle bells, diving spiders, sit this way to... I don't know. I wonder how long... Let's carry what we got. Oh, I don't really have too much. But I don't need this right now. Because we're not mining anything. Mm. 25. Oh. Kill who? Kill who? There's a fucking slaughter fish here that's preventing me from mining this. Um. The guy just said, hey, I don't need this pickaxe, and then there's an iron ore vein right there. I was wondering if it'd be a good time to go to the Solitude Blacks. Oh no, my Staff of Revenants. Solitude Blacksmith to um, loot a little bit more in there. I just don't have a ton of extra carry weight currently. Alright. Maybe we could consider trying to kill somebody while we're here. How does that sound, boys and girls? Uh, yeah, I want this on, and sneaking. I still think it's hilarious that that girl walked up the alchemy shop and face-to-face -face didn't even see us. Yeah, I, I have to sleep and stuff. I'm not I'm not going to wait around. I'm not waiting. How much do I got, though? I got quite a bit of carry weight. I'm going to go check out and see if the Solitude Blacksmith is uh, respawned, because there's a lot of iron ore in there, and I want it. One of the problems with trying to find a lot of iron ore to mine is that a lot of iron ore veins are in cold environments and I don't have a lot of carry weight, so pathing out myself to mine all these iron ore veins is really difficult and I don't get a lot out of it. It really, it does kind of suck. I'm pretty sure I have the key to the blacksmith's place. I think I killed somebody in there. I think I can just walk right in there. Everybody's just leaning around here, right? Fucking... I don't get trespassing for that. I thought I killed this guy. That guy didn't even see me walk in. Maybe I'll try to kill him right now. Bye. I thought I was already in here. Maybe that was in a practice run. If I haven't been in here, guys, someone share it out me and tell me that I haven't been in here, because... In my practice runs, I definitely did come in here. I don't think I need to crouch anymore. Well. Ugh. Some steel, how full am I? 143, okay, I think there's some more in here, actually. If you go in through here, there's some on a table, yeah. Yeah, there they are, see. Yeah, this is definitely, if I haven't been in here, guys, I definitely did this a bunch of times in a practice, to have practice run. So, oh, iron ore right here. I knew there was more. 148, perfect. I'll take that. I don't need to, oh. Do 
I have anything I can unload to make room for more iron. Um, not really. Was this shock? Was this fire? I think I need a potion of water breathing. Um, minor magic and now. Okay, there we go. 149, can I take one more? Nice, okay. I'll consider that a win. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Alright, back to Mark Hearth. My junk. How much should I end up with? 26, 48, 48 iron ore. So that's going to make us like 48 Dwarven bows. No, don't tell me what to do. Yeah, the only reason I got I grabbed the staff of the revenants, guys, because it just it's free, it's right there, and it might just be useful to us. We might be, you know, we're not allowed to have a follower, but it doesn't mean we're not allowed to use a staff. Plus, um, doing the recharging of that thing. Um. Doing the uh, recharging will get us levels. Alright, we're back in Markarth. Hungry, exhausted, cold. It's a whole fucking kit and caboodle. That helps out. No. Two meals. Num num num. I'm gonna run down to the smelter and smelt this iron ore before I put it away, and then we're going up to the Understone Keep. So you said enter and why to do this, guys? If anybody doesn't know that. Let me guess. You need a drink. I do need a drink, man. After that last video I made, guys, holy shit. The other way, direct. Boom. Hey, you watch it. I still always, it's so weird. I never noticed that flute there. Anyways, back to our home. Home sweet home. How much iron? Do we have any iron in here? Oh, 16. Nice, because we're stacked now. Um, we don't need this much food on us, because we're going to be spending some time in Markar, so we really don't need to carry all this food around. And we really want to empty ourselves as much as we can. So let's carry three pieces of food on us. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if that's enough. Um, okay, what else can we get rid of here that we don't want to carry? Uh, I'm going to keep my longbow. I'm going to keep the Staff of Revenants, even though it does weigh 8. Alright, let's run over here and we'll put some of our potions in here. Potions are going to be good to have, but we don't need 43 miners, so let's put in uh, 33 miners. And that can go in, and that can go in. And these two can go in. There we go. That's a little bit more. Throw the meat in there too. Why not? Alright, 64. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go get some sleep. Big nap. Big nap. Doesn't matter what time of day it is when we get up. So, sleep for 7 hours, 8 hours. Actually, I'll probably cut it off at 6. Uses too much food. Sleep for that much. There we go. We're warm. We're rested. Let's get our, uh, got our sneaking gear on. I'm going to put on this thing. Actually, I'm going to keep the ring of sneaking on. The health is good. What's our total health? 260, huh? So it's a deal, still a d pretty decent percentage increase. Not super crazy. I still can't put more into that. Alright, let's just go. So we're going back to, uh, 
in the Chuinzel, guys, where we killed, uh, where we, I think we just grabbed a blacksmith potion and an iron ore vein, but there's some spiders in there. We're going to go kill the spiders, and, uh, yeah, then we're going to consider heading into the dwarven ruin. Oh, I just had a frame drop. I'm going to quick save. Steal that. I'm not stealing. So you can talk to Caselmo, and uh, he'll uh, he'll ask you to come in here and clear out the uh, the giant spider in here. But we're just gonna do it on our own accord. We don't give a shit about what he thinks. Those are just so heavy. I don't want them right now. Like, like I said, guys, the ones you want are bent Dwemer scrap metal, small Dwemer plate metal, and large Dwemer plate metal. Those ones are more efficient in carry weight even than an ingot itself so all right so there is between three two and three spiders down here um we can't really take on the uh take them on like super easily head to head so we're gonna try to uh lure them over here and then assassin get some assassinations on them shoot arrows and stuff they go to detect where the stuff what where the sound came from yeah so yeah when you shoot an arrow at like a spot the spiders will go look for it in that spot so these ones are a little bit more uh finicky oh, there's another iron ore vein right there i didn't know that So there's this little guy, but there's a big guy somewhere too. Okay, so there's the big guy. Ooh, one handed up to 40. We're gonna dump this in right away. Another, hey, there's a piece of bent dormer right there. I'm gonna try to send the big guy over here somewhere. some potions here. We're about to get fudged up, boys. It's actually better to stay close to the spider because the spider, when he does that big lunging attack, it's pretty much like a power attack and it's very hard to dodge. I'm sure you guys noticed. So that's one of the ones we want. Yeah, it's very tough to dodge the, uh, the big jumping spider attacks. Um, there was a few of these. I'm going to actually just... I'm going to do a little reset here. We're coming back for the big spider too, guys. But I'm going to... There's iron ore veins here too. There's one there. There's a bunch in here, huh? Hmm. I thought there's a pickaxe usually right here somewhere. Did I already take it? Might be almost time to get a better, uh... Um, a better healing spell. Because that does not heal us very quickly. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you stay close to spiders... Sorry, I don't know if I trailed off there. They, uh, they can't do that lunging power attack. They'll just regularly attack you and it's not as much damage. I thought that there's a pickaxe normally sitting right here. I must have already taken it. And now I don't have one down here, and I threw up my old one. That's alright. Whatever. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna grab these three big ones, though, and I'm gonna go smelt them up and uh, stash them, and then I'm gonna come back in here. I'm just gonna reset a little bit and get some uh, get some more ingots while we can. I'm sure, I'll grab that one, and there's a big boy right here. Oh, I can't pick up the other one out there. It's too heavy. So, whatever. These ones will be good enough to start. Okay. 
Like I said, being on survival mode really hinders this whole thing. Like, imagine if I had 150 extra carry away right now, I would not need to be doing all this running around and resetting and everything. Also, my dwarven bows. We haven't seen them in the daylight yet. Look at them all. Get in the water. Skadoosh. I love it. I love it. Oh, Omluwag, are you working at the smelter alone today? No. I think it's because I killed your boss and your co-worker. Sorry. So really, guys, you guys know the goals of this build. It's to get, I think, one-handed to 80 and smithing... No, one-handed to 80 and sneak to 100. Um, so we're doing pretty good. Our one-handed's at 40 and our sneak's at 64. Um, getting the sneak leveling, I'm not super concerned with. Um, getting the one-handed leveling, it's going to come. But we're going to need to... Uh, get some uh we're gonna need our smithing up to like 100 quickly um we need to get close to the armor cap it's because we just with all these bounties and all this shit going on um actually that reminds me i should bring what's in here is this oh it's my alcohol cabinet um i should bring a soul gem to recharge that staff if i need to um with all the combat's going to be going on and stuff, and assassinations of people, we're not going to always be able to just kill people and get away with it. So we need to be able to not die, you know? Sneaking, sneak killing everybody isn't the answer or the always the option. So we're going to, we're going back into Nishuenzel, um, because Nishuenzel has this whole big side quest to it of lost people. I'm not worried about that, but Nishuenzel has, I just that pickaxe. There's a pickaxe, nice. Has enough Dwemer metal. Actually, I'm not going to take the pickaxe right now. We'll come back for that stuff um, to make 400 Dwarven metal ingots. We don't need 400. 400 is more than we fucking need by a lot. But, it definitely doesn't hurt to have access. This is the place with the second most, and the other one is a place that I can't get to unless I start a quest, so... Did I search all these spiders? Yeah, take their venoms. Alright, so, definitely do a quick save before you do this, guys. So, in here is a giant spider named Nimhi. Nimhi. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of the make sure I have these things favored. I'm going to set my invisibility potions to four in case this goes poorly. So this giant spider, he's, he's just fucking chilling up there. Um, so when I did this last time, and in my practice runs, I was able to just come in here. There's a little post right there. See that post? You can get behind it, and he'll fall down, and then you just come up behind him and one-shot him. So let's do that. Oh, get behind the post. There we go, we got, we got one sneak attack on him. Oh, that didn't work out, did it? Alright, round two, guys. So when I did that last time, I, I killed that uh, spider in one hit. So. <laughs> Wait, what? Didn't I do a quick save? Wait, what? figure out where I'm at here. I thought I did a quick save, but did I just do a quick save when I... Is this leading me back? I, I hit quick save. Alright, let's see what happened here. See how far back I just got set. Oh yeah, so I just got set back like a bunch of time, guys. Alright, well, we'll try to reset this as quickly as I can. I'm gonna have to relook at that video and see if that quick save went off, because that's, that's craziness. So I have to kill these spiders again. And then I'm just going to go raid for Nimi. I'm not going to reset. Yeah. How annoying. I just did this.
That's so bizarre. Because I hit that save button. Okay. Hopefully I can... Uh, maybe I'll get lucky this time and I won't have to tangle with that big one like I did last time. I'll get the sneak attack. Sneak's so high, this thing just like doesn't even see me. It's crazy. Okay, where's the big one? There he is. There's the bent dwemer. There's the solid dwemer. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to tangle with him that time. Okay. Sorry about having to watch me do this twice, guys. I, I got kind of screwed over there. Alright, anyways, you guys know what's going to happen here, so... I'm going to quick save. I'm going to make a hard save, because I don't know what the fuck happened there. So, giant spider. Like I said, when I did this last time, I was able to just roll behind here. So he doesn't even know I'm here. He doesn't even see me. He's looking for me though, eh? Got him. Bye, Nimmy. Okay, Nimmy down. There we go. Yeah, I still don't know. That's so bizarre. So there's the lost expedition quest. I'm not gonna start that. I don't care. Um. All right. I carry it at 139. That's about right. Alright, we're getting out of here. We're going out to, uh... So wait, did I not get my one-handed level then? Because it reset? Oh no, I'm at 40. Okay. We're gonna go out. I'm gonna smelt this stuff up. <laughs> get a little reset going on here, and then we'll, uh... We'll probably call this a video. I don't know what happened there. That's bizarre. I'm gonna have to... I'm almost certain I hit quick save before I went to try to kill Nimi. Almost certain. Like, I'm like 99 percent sir but we'll see i won't be able to see till i go back in the broadcast so soon guys our sneak gonna be so high we'll be able to just we'll have 100 like what's our sneak i did hit 65 there 64 yeah dude it's gonna be sweet when we get this bad boy right here it just doesn't affect detection so i can just fucking run around and no one will see me like, that's badass i've never had that perk Weapon away. Here we'll put on our uh, our running around gear. I wonder if there's a Skyrim mod. I, like I said, I've done very little modding, almost none. But I wonder if there's a mod that uh, lets me put my uh, gear sets on like a hotkey. Cause that'd be nice. So if we can, um, if we manage to get working on Nishuenzel, which is full of Falmer, by the way, guys, and Falmers are fucking tough hombres, but if we can get that cleared out a little bit, then hopefully we'll be able to, um, sorry, hopefully we'll be able to get enough Dwarven Metal and Guts to get 100 smithing and do it relatively safely. But anyways, guys, that's it. We're going to call this video here. So in the next video, we're going into Nishuenzel and we're going to get some Dwarven Metal. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about that hiccup there. See you next time.